In this video, I'm going to show you how one can create a responsive application by implementing either horizontal or vertical layouts, as well as wrapping utilizing Flex Grow and Flex Shrink and DGLX5. So first, I have already created uh, four different menu buttons. Um, right now, they reside inside a group that currently is set up as a absolute layout. So let's first go into something that's like a horizontal layout. Once I choose horizontal, it's going to uh, set all my components uh, horizontally. So right now, it defaults at flex start, horizontal align flex start, vertical align flex start, wrap, no wrapping, um, tile align flex start. So first, um, let me just go ahead and show you that um, each of my menu buttons are set at 150 pixels by 100 pixels in height. And just simply uh, demonstrating, if we were to have a horizontal layout, basically having our menu bar be at the top of our application, if we were to choose wrap and we shrink the screen size, um, since this wrapping is enabled, um, when we do this, all of our menu buttons are going to shift uh, down. Now if wrapping wasn't turned on, there is no wrapping, you'll see that the components don't get shifted down. So what wrapping basically does is it says I don't have enough room to occupy the amount of pixels that it takes for that container to um, hold all these, uh, all four of these uh, menu buttons. So it says I need one to go down to occupy um, that space. So that's the use case of turning on wrapping. So let's go ahead and not enable wrapping and instead let's go ahead and say our menu buttons to stay at the top but we want these menu buttons to shrink or components and they don't necessarily have to be menu buttons with text they could be icons um, or they can be some kind of graphical animation that's inside so um, let's go ahead and just multi select all of our buttons and under position and size um, there's an expand button usually the flex size may not be showing, so just go ahead and click this expand button so that way we can see flex size. Um, and uh, we have two icons here that point, two arrows pointing outwards, which means uh, flex grow, and two uh, facing towards each other, which means flex shrink. So if we apply flex shrink to all of our selected components, and we resize our screen. You'll see it is going to decrease the size of our components. Now how do you know what number to apply, what type of uh, flex size, uh, flex grow, flex shrink um, size you want? Well it sort of depends on the effect that you want. So for example we could say that this application bar we want it to be a little bit bigger than our other components because it's kind of our our main button so for this use case let's go ahead and say this is gonna be a little bit bigger anyways by default and we're gonna set about product and contact to flex shrink of two you'll see that about product and contact is going to shrink uh, two times more than um, the application um, component. So that's a basic overview of showing the flex shrink within um, a horizontal layout with no wrapping. Now another thing to consider is if we wanted our buttons to, our components to actually wrap, we can definitely do that. You'll see that the buttons will wrap, but once it gets down to the default size of what it, what the component is supposed to be, for example, my application is 200 pixels, once it gets less than 200 pixels, it will begin to shrink. And the same thing will happen to about product and contact.
So we can get pretty fancy here with flex grow and flex shrink. Um, let's go ahead and set um, our uh, container to a vertical container. And instead of setting our um, components to pixels, uh, complete pixel size on height and width, we're going to um, set each of our components in width to 100%. And the pixel height for my application is going to be 125 pixels in height. And we're going to set the submenus to 75. So right now our layout is set to vertical. Let's go ahead and select flex shrink to all of our menu components to one. So it looks like they were. So you'll notice that when we resize um, our, um, our, com our container um, that it sits inside or you know which would be this, the screen if we were to shrink the screen, when wrapping's turned on, um, the menus, uh, these components go away. Now if we were to turn off wrapping, because the flex shrink is turned on on each of these components, um, you'll see that the menu components actually will um, shrink down. So a fancy use case um, of flex shrink um, in a vertical uh, in a vertical layout would be um, maybe applying uh, two times the amount of flex shrink to these submenus. and there's only a flex shrink of one on my application. This allows uh, the submenus to shrink two times faster than my application. So let's go ahead and, and just demonstrate how something like this can, uh, can really be useful. I'm going to turn off the visibility of my menu buttons, my submenu buttons. And I'm going to set an action on my application, uh, my, com my application component. I'm going to set an action of mouse enter and leave first. Turn this on. Change the opacity of the background color to 100% when I roll over. And go back to the properties Oh, the cursor already is on. So if we go to preview, okay, so it highlights. So the user knows that it's clickable. Next, let's go ahead and add another action state um, of clicking on and off, record. And we're going to go to our container and expand this down. And then turn on the visibility of our text. And click the check mark. Go to preview. And even further, we can see that if we go to duration, we can this is where our animation is. So on click on and off, um, we can say that there will be a 0.3 um, three hundredths of a second um, animation transition. So uh, you can see that there's actually a lot of capability and flexibility using Flex Grow and Flex Shrink for anything from like a menu bar to creating a complete uh, responsive um, layout. So um, definitely play around with horizontal um, and vertical layouts and definitely play around with the wrapping and the Flex Grow and Flex Shrink.